Watch this sick fucking trick. Guys, on this episode of Dope Dope Podcast, <laughs> Kev turns 30. We talk about John Morant being wild and going suicidal on the internet. And then, uh, oh, is Kanye's wife a whore for talking to a dude who is holding a cell phone to her face? I think so, but maybe you can weigh in. Guys, enjoy this episode of Dope Dope Comedy. Let's fuck, get into the show. The night we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila. Damn, this shit tasty. You know that I made about a million off a of pibini I feel like my life is a movie, then it's too easy Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy It's bag or die Right to be commenting like, hate comment. on my bread and you're supposed to be a fan, what are you doing? I'm gonna I'm up the interactions, <laughs> the engagement Guys, welcome to the podcast, this is Doped Up and in- Doped Up Comedy the Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke show, show. guys. I'm over. your host. We are three comedians from New York City, and I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is my co-host, Kevin Big Poppy Sanchez. How you doing, Kev? Uh, thirty. <laughs> oh yeah, it was I'm your in birthday. My 30s. It was my birthday. Happy we're, birthday, Kev. We're Thank gonna get into that in a second, and then sitting across from us is our other co-host, the third man in charge, the Jamaican Jedi, Jedi himself, yes, the Jamaican Jedi himself. DC Williams, DC third eye, third brain of doped up comedy. Ooh. You heard. Good like morning. You. You also sure gave yourself the blonde spot. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> third, third. <laughs> yeah, third eye, third, third brain. You I know? like it. I like it. All right, guys. Um, Kev, it was your birthday. Yeah, 32. How you feeling? How you feeling? You 33, 32? I'm 32 years 32. old, bro. You know Jesus died at 33, right? 33. So yeah. as soon as I yeah, pass that old. nigga, <laughs> 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 I feel real comfortable. You think you're going to have more followers? Huh? <laughs> I mean, I have way more followers than he. Nah, let me tell you. What, what about <laughs> the original Jesus? What about he had twelve? Technically, he has like a billion now. Now, Listen, now, yeah, like now it only probably took him, back then. That's it only took him thousands of years. By the way, that's the most Jewish. Look how much effort. He that's the most Jewish thing to say is be like, yeah, Jesus ain't shit. How many followers he got? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I, don't I don't like that's that Jewish. you guys that's said that. That's mad millennial. That's mad millennial. Yeah. That's real Gen Z. That's me. mad sacrilegious. <laughs> that's mad sacrilegious. On thirty, I was telling Dylan. You didn't tell anyone about your birthday. We like we like you told people what you didn't tell people. Oh, you know me. I don't do shit. I don't. Like that. I feel like I don't though. That's, <laughs> that's like the problem. Like when <laughs> being <laughs> friends with Kevin. You. That's the thing is we feel like we know you, yeah. and you do stuff that makes us question if we yeah. know you. Bro, here's the thing. I was going like I'm one of those people that really feels I that really feels this. I feel like my life is not where I want to be. Okay. So it's hard for me to be like in celebration. Mode, I know what you mean, I right? You mean. Like when I left the army I in 2017, in yeah, I celebrated my birthday. I moved in with a bad Dominican and you, nigga, chick. You made it out the army. <laughs> like, I made it out yeah. the army, <laughs> yeah, like with uh, an, an honorable with an honorable discharge, yeah. which is a lot harder than you That's think it would be. Hard. Yeah. Because like you, I was in DC. I was in white in the White House, bro. You know how many people wanted to do coke and smoke weed and like they do, did though, didn't they? And they did, and they yeah. all get kicked out. <laughs> You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. I was one of the guys that like I smoked weed maybe a few times in the army, but like sporadically. I wasn't not trying to like get high every day, even though I could have. Yeah. Um, but this year it was hard. You like, definitely got loose during the army, though. You didn't do coke once during the army. I, I've never done coke. Okay, I've hmm. never done coke. Pussy. Don't know Pussy. Pussy. Never done coke. I've also, never... don't feel bad that you're not where you are in your life where you want to be at your age. Yeah, like you and DC's eighty wearing a million hoodie that people. says sports, and he's never played one. And it's a tennis <laughs> uh, from H and M. It's kind of fire, though. Right? It is kind of fire. Kind of fire. Yeah, I like how it just says generic sport. Just sport, dog. Just sport. Hey, yo, not even sport, sports. Kind of sport? Hey, dog, you dealing with me? It's a sport. Like, it's a sport. <laughs> Everything. We're sport. We're athletes, bro. Yeah. What? Like Kanye said, I go to the garden to play one on none. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said that for real. Uh, yeah, I'm a performance athlete. Yo, have you seen his latest picture? Nah, uh, bro, this dude is like he looks like you know the Indian dudes is just stick steroids in each bicep. He looked just like that right now because he's wearing like the skinny suits and shit. No, but bro, he he's wearing like uh, shoulder pads and stuff. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. People oh, yeah. like the shoulder pads. Make them See if you can find that pic- uh, picture, but David. I, a... I turned 32 this year, bro, mm-hmm. and it's the first time I was like, oh, I feel like I'm in my 30s now. Yeah, like because I went. I would turn 30 during the pandemic, right? Um, and then we were in this bubble, bro. And then I think what people don't tell you, what I'm realizing when you turn 30 is you're coming off the high of your 20s. Yeah. Right? God damn, is it high. Ooh, it was, it was God crazy, God damn, bro. are we high. It's a calm down. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's an insane calm down. Yeah. It took me two years. Down, down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, it took me two years. But something else happened. 
something else happened. It better be interesting. I like my give a fuck meter. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it started happening at twenty nine. Right, three weeks ago. Oh, for real, real for real. Oh, huh? really? It started happening. At nah, 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 not that. Not that's that. just a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like he God damn, he is handsome. There. God damn, he is handsome. I hate saying that. You were saying. <laughs> You're, and you're, then, you're, like, you're, you're, so, like, three weeks ago, I just hit up this girl. I was like, yo, can I come through and clap your cheeks? But just like that. Yeah, yeah. No foreplay. Yeah, no filter. No filter. I can't think of nothing. I, I don't, I, I don't also, wanna. You know what time it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Why are we playing? Why are we playing around? Mm. On my birthday, my friend, you know, I, I I was debating whether I wanted to do anything. I was content with just being in the park for 15 straight I know, hours. I had to invite Kev to his own bar. Yeah. Like, yeah. his own place. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Um, if you didn't do that, I think I would have just. It's, he'd be the only nigga I don't want to be at his own birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin did ask me. He was like, "Bro, you want to bail?" I was like, "Bro, this is your. This is for you. <laughs> Everywhere that you go, they're gonna follow." Yeah. So I did watch Kev though. Once it happened, everyone came through. Was like, he's drinking fucking Jim Beam and Coke now. That's Kev's new drink. And everyone that came through okay. was like, yo, bro, can I buy you a drink? So Kev got to watch the Laker game while getting 12 free Jim Beams and Cokes. <laughs> yeah, he did. It was nice. It was nice, bro. He did and, a and beer. I gave you a beer. Oh, yeah, just fucking. Oh, my God. Say oh, what, I'm say such an DC asshole. Did. Such no, an no, asshole. No, no, no. I don't no, think you're, you're, you're just, I don't just, think you're an you're asshole. You're just broke. You yeah. just that's why I got yeah. you a free beer. Yo, he he went to the bar, showed up to a bar with pocket beers. With pocket beers, dude. Come I respect on, that, bro. bro. Like, I respect that. Am I a homie? Dude, oh, I, I literally just came up and handed him a, a drink, and DC goes, "He goes chase it with oh. this." <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, chase that. <laughs> Did you ever drink that beer? Yeah, yeah. He tried it yeah. cold. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I pour, poured it in ice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't know. Yeah, on, bro. bro. I, there's something about turning 32 this year. Where like it hit me that I'm in my thirties. Um, yeah. I did get birthday pussy. I birthday was, I, like, pussy. That's usual, but it wasn't special. Um, you know, it's great. Like my, I didn't care. like. What I mean, I don't care. I was out all day. I didn't take like a shower before mm-hmm. the bar. Mm-hmm. I didn't take a shower you before had the I went musk there. On your nuts. I, I had all day. Yeah, on there. I, I had yeah. that good musk. <laughs> well good seasoned. Seasoned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I feel and you. she, she started giving me a like. She was like. Giving me a birthday blowjob? Salty. Salty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this pork tenderloin? <laughs> Bro. And I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. A few years ago, even as early as seven, eight, ten months ago, I would have been like, yo, don't do that. I was outside all day. Can I take a quick shower? Mm-hmm. And I said, why? Mm-hmm. Nah, just enjoy yourself. Yeah, She's not saying nothing. off the tree? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we eat bananas, bananas off, off the, the tree. tree. Don't you? Yo, I Yo. <laughs> Oh, that's bars? That bars. bars. That was bars? <laughs> hey, baby, you eat bananas right. off, off the, the tree? tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bars? <laughs> That's G unit. Oh, that's bars. That's G unit. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's bars. Oh, that's bars? <laughs> um, yeah, so Kev, uh, before before we get, you guys have any questions for me? I was about to say. Thing? I was like, so let's let's do ask a thirty year old. Let's let's do ask old man Kev. Mm-hmm. Um, groin pains. You think you're gonna get them? Groin pains. Yeah, I have uh, one now. You have groin pains now. Mm-hmm. I hate those. That shit uncomfortable, bro. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I got uncomfortable. Isn't growing pains what you get when you're like 11? No, groin. Oh, groin. I thought yeah, you said no, growing pain. Yeah, yeah. Natalie, do you have any groin pains? Yeah, yeah, I'm not just badly pronouncing growing pains. <laughs> <laughs> growing pains. But um, I uh, just I don't know. Do you, do you feel do you feel different? You say no, you, I definitely do, feel you different. Feel do you think you've learned now? anything in your 30s you couldn't have learned in your 20s? You can't give a fuck, and, and not and not the way you do in your mm-hmm. 20s. Right, we're like, selfishly not giving a fuck. Yeah, like you can't mm-hmm. give a fuck about like what people think of you for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, like you know, unless what I'm they have to, a mortgage. Like, I've been telling girls like, uh, they're like, where do you, where do you live? Like, yeah. I'm newly single, yeah, yeah. right? And I'm going on these dates because where do you live? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I live with my mom right now. <laughs> yeah. And then they look at me. I'm like, helping my dad with cancer. And then they're like, but that's the truth. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what's happening. But that happening. saves you. The cancer saves The cancer you. does save it you. Does save but then you. last night, not last night. It's crazy how quickly a girl can be going from not your to not going to your place to being like, you want to fuck in the bed he's about to die on? <laughs> yeah, he might be into it, depending no. on. One girl last week was like, can we still go? I'm like, are you insane? Yeah. No. Yeah. 
No, we can't. Yeah. Is that why you call me seven times at three in the morning? I did not call you seven times during the morning. I call no man seven times during the morning. Fuck out of here. <laughs> That's wild. Don't ever accuse him of some shit like that publicly. Pause. Publicly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of shit right there. Dylan, I need your couch. <laughs> I'm about to clap cheeks. <laughs> I don't think Dylan. Dylan's not the kind of guy that lets you clap cheeks at the script. Nope. Uh, y- yes. He like, he's a hard set rule about that. Nope. If, if. No clapping cheeks at my house unless they're my cheeks to be clapped. Uh. Wait. If he was Whoa, younger, if he was, wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> yo, yo, even Dave was like, I don't know, we were out. Wait, yo, wait, bro, I meant like as in they're available for me to be to clap. You're taxing. You need two percent of the pussy. You know that was that was negative bars. Yeah. Nah, you can't play G unit on that. That was bro. that was that was bad unit. Yo, bro, you need. A- I didn't mean it like that. That was crazy. But I do know what you mean, and honestly, <laughs> your homie shouldn't be. Especially if he has Not a at this age. Especially, especially if he, no, at this age he should. If he was single and by himself, I'd be like, what the fuck is your excuse? You know what I mean? You don't want to see oh, no, a boy get pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying, but he lives with a girl and shit. Nah, bro, if I was single, I'd be it's more a real upset. Relationship. I'd be more upset. Yeah. Nah, you wouldn't either. You want me to third wheel you know in my, you know my own this, home? You know what this You're crazy? a fucking don't psycho, third wheel. Don't even pop out. Yeah, what are you talking yo, about? Yo, I'm not third wheeling in my own home. Don't third wheel. Don't show up. Let me tell you something about this dude. Don't show up. He fucking, we were thinking about moving in together like right before the pandemic. Oh my God. And he goes, y'all don't think I can move in with you? I said, why? He goes, because I, I don't want to hear you getting pussy. <laughs> why are like, you so weird about and that? And I was like, what? I don't like he it. He goes, I don't want that because it's, it's going to turn into a competition for me. <laughs> That's what he said. My homie said this thing. Yo, because <laughs> the problem is when I hear someone else, like, so I told you this before, in my in the apartment that I'm in right now, the there was a girl above um the apartment above me. Get it, it and, is. No, no, no. I would see her all the time and we'd float on the stairwell. And then she would go... To her apartment, and that one time she was just seeing this dude, and bro, on the weekly, she was like, I was rinsed out. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, I was sitting there, and I was sitting there, like, in that bed, and the only thing I could think of was like, Hell yeah, I deck bitches, Chris Brown. Bro, I was so angry. Was she like this a dude? Ah, bro, ah, bro, kind of person? Bro. Was she big loud? Bro, she was so loud. I went to my current girlfriend at the Grunty? time and went and was like, "Why don't you say that? Why, why aren't you loud in bed? You should be more you should be more talking. You, you should be more re, you should be but positive the, reinforcement." But this is the thing. I used to fuck like when I was in the like, college, I used to fuck for the girl like the, the roommates. Does that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I used to fuck you, for the you, roommates. You roommates. Uh, I used to fuck where I was like, "And y'all can get it." Yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, I feel ah, that. Ah, ah, you want to put ah, a good name ah, out there. Ah, ah. And you then do, bro, you're doing PR really. And then now I'd be fucking for myself. Yeah. And I heard her, I was like, are you fucking, for, and this is how psycho guys are. I was like, are you fucking for me? Am I, am I supposed to be hearing this? Because you, you, bro, I would, I couldn't do it. And then she moved out and I was like, I'm, I'm saved. I can focus on work. Because again, it turns into a competition for me where I'm like, oh, oh, oh pussies, be, this guy's getting pussy. So when you started go fucking your girl, were you moaning louder than her because it's a competition? Oh, bro, when I started fucking my, uh, my current girlfriend, so now there's a new person that lives up there. And now she began rinsed out recently. And bro, I don't even ask, I wouldn't even ask my girl anymore. I just say, fuck it. You know what? I'm fucking for other people in the room now, so I do the I do my my groans and her groans. Like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, oh, 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 Dylan, you're amazing. Come down to three, yes, if you ever want a three song. Oh. Respect, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should you should be able to express yourself. No, like honestly, that, uh, we were sitting in bed the other day watching like Disney Plus, <laughs> being like, me and my girl are like adult, not adults, but like. <laughs> Yeah, past the honeymoon. Yeah, like, and, uh, by the way, I like it, and I love that. You're yeah, rolling over and fucking. Com- and is the I best. love that, bro. I like having a wife. Bro. And you don't even have to impress and her I'm no like, more. I'm she a knows you can to fuck. A cat. You know what I mean? She knows you can fuck. Now you can fuck for five minutes. See, that's ten the problem, minutes. though. My girl knows I can fuck, so when I don't do it, she's like, "What was that half ass?" I was like, "Bitch, yeah, was, you don't get first month dick exactly, all month. Exactly. First month. Wouldn't it be boring if we always did that? Yeah, it gotta be. It gotta be some. Make it exciting. I gotta. I'm trying to be upset. Some girls. I have to tell my girl that the other. What you just Yo, baby, sometimes I gotta upset you. You know what my girl did to me, bro? She got me hyped up for sex the other day, and then. And then, no, no, no. And then she was, we went to the bed, the bedroom, because she was tired. So I was like, all right, you want to go to bed early? Bed, let's lay down. She started getting me in the mood. And I, w- I literally was even joking. I was like, babe, I'm not in the mood. And then finally, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And then, then she rolled over, and I was like, it's the rollover. Oh, bitch, you're not getting any dick recently. Like, turn your back to you? or turn Yeah, the front I mean, she went to the bed. She was like, I'm sleepy. When they turn the front to me, that's how I know it's not going down. <laughs> when they turn the back, I'm like, okay, I can slip it in maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah, with yeah, it, yeah. Feel on the cheeks. But if they turn knees, 
in front of their chest. <laughs> 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 These are for you. That's, not that's how much DC needs to fuck tonight. They're, they're, they're yeah. like, they gotta you go know. into a fetal position. In yeah, <laughs> bro. They gotta if they put the knees all high and lay to the side. Nah, it's not going down. <laughs> they turn the butt to you. You got but, a chance. Yo, this girl uh, currently now is getting rinsed out above me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you said I like this term. <laughs> I never heard it before really? today. <laughs> you know why? It, you can just imagine a ho- uh, a hose that shoots cum cleaning. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Real, I just picture like rotisserie, just there's <laughs> <laughs> a rotisserie just getting reamed, bro. <laughs> Guys, again, we're sorry that this podcast is like this, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> um, so you out? She be getting fucking, g- fucking GI Joe'd up there. I don't know. She getting beat the really? fuck up, bro. And she be loud. And we were sitting there watching, um, whatever we we're watching, whatever, whatever TV show on Disney. And my girlfriend's by. Like we have fun, and we this has never happened in our relationship. So we're hearing this, and we both go, oh, I think she's having sex. I think she's having sex. Mm-hmm. And then she kind of gets, like, happy. where She's like, good for her. Yeah. Girls are like that. And then I, re- that and then I sat clean. there, and then I was like, and bro, I started getting agitated. And then my girlfriend notices. She's like, are you actually getting mad right now that she's getting fucked? And I was like, no. She's like, Dylan, you don't, I don't think Yo, you even I know wonder- what she looks like. I was like, but it should be me. Yo, Dylan, getting I, reamed you know, again? What's no! up with you, bro? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Yo, God. Bro. So all the fucking. Sick. You want to do all the fucking all the time, Yo, all he, of the time. Yes. Yes. I think it's because he grew up in a home. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he's the king yeah. of this castle, uh-huh. right? Like I never felt like that because I grew up in the city. I used to hear people fuck all day long. Yeah. Right, so I'm like that shit. That shit is like. I also heard. I've heard my brother clap cheeks. My uncle no clap way. cheeks. Growing You've up, heard your yeah. I've never heard. My I've never heard oh. your brother clap cheeks. Wait, oh, bro, I peeped over a fence one wait, time. Yeah. I saw my brother on, finishing up. On. I remember with a chick. Well, no, I, that, that was that in was Florida. More, he was, was clapping more, cheeks outside. That was more sus than the thing that I said. He's clapping cheeks outside. You I remember peeking over the up. fence. You saw your brother's finishings. I saw him finishing up. Yeah, he was getting up off the ground. He was on. He she was on top of him. They was outside. This is like high school. You know. I think that's worse than the thing I said earlier. Right, guys. Nah. 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 <laughs> see you nah. So you grew up wild, bro. You see some <laughs> I'm, I just, just, I've never heard anyone fucking my entire life. What? I've there's I don't have one memory of anyone ever clapping cheeks. The only memory you I never ever had your parents fuck? Nope. My parents oh. didn't love Me each other. either. Okay, got you, got you. You I, was, that? I don't think I can think of have any you ever heard, Oh, that's a lie. I mean Have you ever have you ever you've never lived anywhere where you hear people having sex? I'm telling you. <laughs> you thought they were always arguing about finances? That uh, was cold. That was racist. That was cold. Dylan. When did your parents get divorced? I bet that's it. Um, according I was to my, like twelve. Ac- according to my brother and sister, mentally when I was born. Mentally, they fucked. <laughs> mentally, you were div- getting divorced. Oh shit! So like, I, my, I don't like. My, I never watched my parents love. I never saw my parents love each other. Hmm. My parents weren't kissing. By oh, the time. I at least had that until I was eleven. Nah. This nigga was, by, by eleven, they were, they were, they were, they were in talking. This nigga was born to divide people, <laughs> <laughs> make people argue, bro. <laughs> Look at the comments. <laughs> this kid's been he's living his destiny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the prodigal son for the boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best part about it is we Mm-mm. still don't care what none of y'all think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? That's Jimmy Butler. Oh. <laughs> it was like the best part about it. We still don't well, care. Put on your headphones, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah, repeating my drop to you. Um, is, all right, no, no, no. Yeah. So yeah, I, I did hear my friends fooling around once, but they weren't. It wasn't like, you know. Oh, dude, I clapped cheeks with my my two of my homies were in the room. They were knocked out. I was in the corner with a blanket over me and her, clapping cheeks. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Yo, can I tell you, can I tell you something that's There's crazy? Three of my homies. Yeah, can I tell yeah. you something that's crazy? Is you ever see a uh, black dudes? Like, y'all say something like the thing I said earlier, and have a miss. I misspeak. I misspoke, and you'll be like, "Yo, bro, I can't hang out with you anymore. White boys are crazy. You gay as fuck." And they'll be like, "If you ask like, like a, a black dude, be like, what was your first sexual experience?" And be like, "Oh, bro, there was fourteen of us in a home, and we were all just fucking each other when we were seven. Mm-hmm. I was like, "What? We were fucking each other. They bro, were like, knocked no, out. You just you were fucking a girl while your brother was in the room. That's that's a cuck. No." His Yo, friend, she was coming friend, there to smack. Friend. We're all having this. We we're just crashing my homie Jay's crib. We we're yeah. all sleeping in the same room. She came over late. They pretended to be asleep or whatever, and we <laughs> clapped. We clapped. I had a homie who clapped cheeks on the bus. Um, people were on the bus. We we're coming back from a step competition, right? I swear to God. And he wanted to practice in the back. <laughs> we had no idea, and the bus had Yo, mad people out, on he it. Pulled out that chicharron, and he bro. said, "He said like <laughs> salty nuts, We got bro. off the bus like an hour later. He was like, "Yo, I still got the condom yeah. on right now, bro. I need to like I need to go to the Denny's and use wait, the bathroom." Wait, he put on a condom. Remember when? Yeah, remember he put when, a condom remember on. Remember on the bus. Clap cheeks. Heard nothing, and I saw them chilling the whole time. By the way, nothing. you could take the condom off, sir, and put, do what? Hold it in your hand. 
<laughs> what the it, fuck are you gonna do with the condom, bro? It kind of yeah. becomes like a um one of those uh, uh like a fidget toy. No. Nah, bro. <laughs> I don't even like what you're doing with your hands. I've never had a condom By in the way, palm of my that's hands. Just, that's that just what everyone like, keeps hitting up Kevin going, yo, bro, get your boy. Get your boy. Yeah, <laughs> get your, get yeah, your, yeah. Get your man. Your boy get holding your man, condoms. Yo, your man. <laughs> that's what happens when you're inspired by Steve-O and shit. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. Motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> Swallowed a condom two times. Hey, you, wanna, you guys want to see steve every time he sees a condom, he goes, I wonder if I should eat this. Yeah. Like, steve like a dog. <laughs> Bro, that nigga's an insane uh, uh, person. Steve was like a half magician. Like, he does the yeah. first part of the trick, and there's, no, there's no magic part. in it, though. No there's just no magic. It's just all. You watching me swallow the sword? He goes, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He swallows, he goes, Cuts I did his it. He goes, I need to take it out. He goes, Oh, no, I'm fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is like a Vegeta. Yeah. Well, there's not a trick, though. Yeah, <laughs> he's hurting trick. himself. Yeah. Yo, he's a halfway magician. Yeah. Steve, oh, you a halfway magician yeah. halfway and a halfway magician. comic. He's a magician. No, that's, that's a bad joke. No, it wasn't a joke. That was where you heard what I said. It was that was just because Steve blocked me on Instagram, so I, I can't. Why? Um, so the next topic. He, he saw you and he was like, I know this honestly, kid. Yo, he, honestly, yo, honestly, this conversation, I'm so... Usually I'm upset when you guys are cutting me off, but I was about to reveal things that I definitely didn't want to reveal. Yes, you did. Mm-mm. Okay. I'm so happy. So what do you want to reveal? I now, feel like you're lying. You, you didn't up. really have anything to reveal. Now that you brought it up, what do you want to reveal? Bro, I remember the... F- um, I, I thought I never heard my brother clap cheeks. And that is not true at all. Who Which one, the gay clap? one or is true? Both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here, your gay brother clap cheeks. It's Which one sounds like it has more love in it? <laughs> um, straight, definitely not straight. Y- yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was more love in the yeah, straights. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what? Did, what? Did, uh, go, go through each one of them. What did? Um, Yo, what did the so, straight one nah, sound bro. like? All right, now nah, hold on. So, it was the first time I really started hanging out with my little brother. Like he wasn't my little brother. He's like a you know like a homie, 18, 19 years old at the time. I'm twenty, twenty one. And we're hanging out with him and his boy, I'm not going to say his name, but I've never seen this happen before, bro, but they picked up a chicken McDonald's. Yeah. Right? A chicken this McDonald's? This is the most bank bro shit ever. Bro, they picked up some girl, <laughs> like some chicken McDonald's. I'm like, yeah. that's interesting. And Obviously they bro- a drug addict. I don't know, bro. She didn't look like a drug addict. She looked like she was just down for the times. You know, not everyone that goes to McDonald's a is a drug addict. I mean, I am and I if do go to McDonald's, but that's the count. McDonald's, McDon- I feel. When you I say mean, you pick a girl up at McDonald's, everybody She's not living a good life. Everyone just thinks trash. Yeah. yeah. DC, I've seen you spit game on the street. Mm-hmm. Bro, it wasn't even Not that. at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> street beats McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah bro. It does. That's weird. And, um, so go on. And I just remember, I was like, they went into the, like, they both went into the room. And I was like, are they going to? And I was like, I'm never hanging out with my little brother again, bro. He's too wild. Like, I don't want to know you that he's gangbang. You were such a square that time. I'm a bit square, of a square. Bro. I'm a big square. <laughs> so I'm a big so square. You, so you didn't like him clapping cheeks. Why should I have to deal with clapping cheeks? He was he was uh, uh, running a train on some chick from McDonald's. That's what I said. With his friend. I was like, yo, bro, I don't want to be anywhere near this. But I didn't. also didn't want to leave my little brother. And just... yeah, you need to make sure he was safe. Yo, your brother, had a, your brother had a Mick gangbang? Yeah. <laughs> he had a Mick gangbang, dude. <laughs> your brother had a real life Mick gangbang. That's and fucking amazing, brother, dude. Only older brother that tries to protect his little brother from pussy. You Worst know. older brother ever. Bro. The only time I ever, my brother one oh, time yes. uh, came. <laughs> my brother one time, like everyone was at his house, all his friends and stuff, and he was there with his girlfriend. He's in like high school. I just remember like I was hanging out, and then him and his girl went to their his car, and they just basically fucked in the driveway, and then came back. And then my brother just being like sweaty, like whatever. Uh-huh. But then I remember like when I got my like my dad was like, I'm like, all right, so what, am I getting a car like, for my 16th birthday? He was like, yeah, we're gonna give you Corey's old car. I was like. <laughs> Damn, I'm like, all right, cool. But like, you he did fuck cum stains, bro. Mean? I'm like weird like that, but I'm also, also. I didn't <laughs> fuck in the car though. <laughs> <laughs> but this is also the problem is I fucked plenty of bitches in that car. Damn, bro. so what you mad about? Mad about every time I was like fucking a girl, I was like. I'm just fucking like you weren't there first. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. You did you fuck plenty bitches I'm before him? In a man's cum spot. Wait, did, did you fuck in your brother's car a lot? Well, before it was your car. Nah. Oh, okay, I was about to say that's nah, wild. Bro. I told you I'm, I was I, fucking my I was late car. to the pussy getting game. Yeah, yeah, you started at 18. That's actually a good age to start. It's better yeah. than like 12, 13. Yeah, I mean, pussy's bad for. I wasn't good for me. 13, I didn't like bro. it. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't exactly delighted. Really? It was probably having, yeah, because then you're 18 and you're having really I also, bad I, sex. I wasn't, I wasn't always focused on pussy. I, I think, I, I just remember people would talk about, like, my friends would talk about pussy in high school, and I was like, like oh, I cool. care less right now. I was like, I am, sh- I have like, de- I'm like, I'm dealing with depression. <laughs> I, was like, I, I, I was like, I just wasn't like. You were depressed in high school? Yeah, I mean, I had like, because I also was like, 
I had like I there was girls I talked to, but bro, I wanted a girlfriend. And the girl by the time I was like talking to girls and had at least a, like I was a little handsome, they were just like trying to fuck. And, yeah. I, and I didn't know that. Yeah. Yo, this is mad aggravating to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so this is a, oh, you just want to fuck you me? Didn't know that. I have memories of like some that. of the hottest yeah. girls at school yeah, get talking dude. to me and then me being like, I want a girlfriend. They're being like, I'm just trying to Whoa, fuck. You're killing their vibe with that shit. Bro. I know. I tried out so many pussies in high school, dude. Shut up and have drugs. You know? <laughs> That's why it's that exactly. Have drugs for them. Hey, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, Take that. Speaking Take of intrusive thoughts, let's go to our new segment, intrusive thoughts. Do we have the videos, guys? I do have intrusive thoughts. I want to start it off by saying I saw an old blind dude walking around with his, uh, he had his hand on the shoulder Mike. of like a, a black girl. And I was like, Say it again? he was walking around with this black girl. There's like this young black girl that was like guiding him around. And he had like a shade over his eyes and a st- walking stick. Yeah. And I was like, he's using, told, he's using the blindness the blind as side? an excuse for pedophilia, I think. That's what I saw. That's what I thought. How I, old was she? I had that intrusive, she had to be about 16, 17 years old. Oh. And uh, she's probably like a school or something that helps like the blind people. But I'm looking at it and I said, nah, I don't trust them. I like how I said intrusive thoughts and DZ had a good thought out thought of like, I don't like what that guy's doing. That He's thought was intrusive. No good. It, it entered my, as soon as I walked in the deli. That's a I good thought. Like, I don't know if it's a good thought. First of all, that girl could just look young. That yeah. woman could look young. I know yeah, but it, I will say it is pretty funny if like, um, like Chris Hansen goes, go take a seat. He goes, I don't know where. I don't right. know where her seat is, Chris. Right. He goes, so when she said she was 13, he says, he goes, I, someone else is texting. I mm-hmm. can't text Chris Hansen. And they caught him because she lied. She's really 26, but he said 13, and it, he got excited about it because he can't tell because he's blind. He's blind. You yeah, know what I'm saying? See. Yeah. We should, we should make the sketch the blind pedophilia. Whoa. Pedo- pedo- pedophilia? I don't know. Words. So what do you, like, what? I don't, so what, let's what, go to what, intrusive thought, okay. video number one. Let's go to baseball, intrusive thoughts. Do you ever have... Yeah. Intrusive thoughts at baseball. Delete the blind pedophilia segment. Um, uh, <laughs> intrusive thoughts in baseball. Yeah. No. Um, I was told to think about baseball if I don't want to come fast. So. My mom also told me that. Yeah, yeah. No, Wait, did mom you get, told you did that. You get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get that from, from my mom? mom? Nope. Never got anything from your mom. Good. P- promise. <laughs> <laughs> like we have the that is a thing that people say. Okay. It's still weird. My mom told me. Do we have the video? Oh, wait, are you sh- okay? Here we go. Audio would be great. There's no sound. There is. It says there's if no sound. If you click that little thing right no, there. No sound. Video has no sound. Ooh, no sound that's like crazy that. because the guy says big black cock in the video, and that's the point, isn't it? Damn. Now there's no evidence of it. Now now it's just like you I wanted to it took it off. hear big black cock. So the guy, <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost as if he never Yo, said that. Did it? Now, now you look crazy. Yo, nah, Yo Dylan, you hear it? They say the, the Mandela effect. Nah, this ain't going to be the Dylan's Yo. gay episode. <laughs> oh, Dylan's gay. No, fuck all of you nah, guys. Dylan's just, he can't stop thinking about it. David planted this video in your fact thoughts, sheet bro. so that you would seem gay. That's crazy. That's crazy how my fucking phone has audio. You can't turn the black cock black guy. We can't. <laughs> what the fuck back. is going on in media, bro? We can't turn the clock back. Oh, he clocked back, days. not black cock. Wow, he's oh, dyslexic like in the worst time. way. Wait, right, let's do it again. Worst listen, 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 listen to it. Over there. You can't turn the black cock black. Uh, That's going to be a new drop for us. You can't turn the black cock black. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What do you think is happening with the media? You think people are like just tweaking? Out, they're I just think, putting think, shit I on the prompter to fuck with people. that were like doing segments for the last 20 years are finally getting old and dementia where it's just kicking in all of a sudden. They're like, oh, where am I? Do you think some of the they black wake cock up. they've been seeking <laughs> outside of the job is starting to subconsciously come out? Like the things that they're kind of into? You talking about like being a cock? <laughs> maybe being a cock or maybe he just has a secret black boyfriend that his wife doesn't know about. Maybe. You know what I mean? Is that is that where you come in? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Thinking about it, I don't understand. And the last one, what did he say? Uh, the the nigger league is that what he said? Yeah, the nigger we league. We played that before. <laughs> like that, he's just like, bro, what's going on? Whoa, 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 there, feller! You want to get through the podcast, but first you gotta go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. You like topicals? You like Delta A? And do you like the fucking party? And you're on the West Coast? Well, guess what? Zia Farms does it all. You're gonna go to z e f h e m p dot com and use code Doped Up for like fifty. Percent off. You could get some good deals. So you want to get back into this ruined tune podcast? Go to Zia Farms. Come back, and we can have some fun. DC, where's that Jamaican Darth Vader? All right, let's go to our second intrusive thought. Do you have a pottery video? Thanks for giving me nothing on that, guys. I like pottery. That's so satisfying <laughs> in the weirdest way. <laughs> Letting my intrusive <laughs> thoughts win. 
That is for the audio clean, listeners. Bro. It's just a guy going. And you know what's crazy? He could sell that for more for punching. Punching pottery. Yes. With a middle finger. Tell him it's artistic. <laughs> look at that. Look <laughs> that at one's that. so. The punch funny. is so perfect though. Look, look at the punch. Yo, I like the way this all sounds too. Fucking art. Look at that shit. Wait, wait. Look at that shit. Let's just give the let's give all the listeners just audio. Ready? Let's just, let's just enjoy. It. Play it. Oh no, this is not good ASMR, but it's. Oh, that's nice. I realize they're playing Mr. Lonely in the fucking workshop also. <laughs> I used to love Mr. Lonely. I was a, I was think, a dramatic seven-year-old. You think like his... his That's why I knew I had depression. You think I was, he was listening to Mr. Lonely all the time by fucking Akon at seven years old. Look at when Mr. Lonely came out. I was too young to be listening to Mr. Lonely sitting there like... Nah, bro. I, like I was in depression. You just had ADHD, bro. Maybe. Maybe. Yo, I used to not... <laughs> got all serious, dude. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, I mean, I have both. <laughs> so wait, what did, what did your gay your gay brother sound like fucking? It sounded like... 2004, exactly seven. Good job. <laughs> I, fuck, I told you, I got it like that. <laughs> Big bars. What did you... How did you... Uh, what did your gay brother... I want to go back to that. What did your gay brother sound like when he was, when he was boning? Well... Was it loud? <laughs> it was just like... Dirty. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Come on. Mm-hmm. It, it was like forbidden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I was like, yo, what's going on in there right now? What's bro? the craziest thing you said, you've heard said? What's the craziest thing you've heard well, my, said? What do you mean? Like, dirty it, talk? Like, nah, it wasn't. It was just a loud pounding. Like, Take this dick, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> 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 That's not how my gay brother talks at all. But, I don't know what I don't know what they say. That'd be so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I hope bro, you know. Dirty talk is crazy. Imagine how crazy it is for two dudes to like talk to each other like that, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I always knew I could beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but so I one dude. time, um, you ever go on e fucked? <laughs> Yeah, oh, when I was a kid. Is e fucked this. Uh, it's uh, just it's like, like E bombs, E bombs world or some shit like that. I've heard of E bombs. Uh, yeah, it's well, I so I saw this video one time of a. It was a dude fucks dyke, and it was a girl. They were, bro, they they literally could see the window. They were like in like the Bronx or like in New York, right? And it's just like your typical like, bro. She's wearing a shirt, so her boobs like go down more. Like she's all just like, yes, yeah, son. Absolutely, bro. She just finished hooping. And bro, the and bro they just finished hooping. Yeah, Literally yeah. just finished With hooping. With Tim's on. And dude, it was such an awkward video to watch because it's a guy sitting there. And the first part of the video, whether it's foreplay, whether it's on purpose or real or fake, they're just talking like homies. So they're just like, yeah, B, absolutely. And then somehow it turns into her like, hey, bro. And then I just fast forward and they were talking like, I was like, bro, you're fucking a dude with the pussy. Mm-hmm. Like, you're like... Mm-hmm. Bro, the you way she dead ass trying to, like the way she talked was like, yeah. you want like, dead ass trying to suck your dick, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you remember the time Make in New York City? Drop. You remember the time in New York City, bro, where That's like funny. people, like people were saying, "Yo, dick, hey, dick." No, nah, that was, that just, was just, just East Harlem, bro. That was, that was actually West Harlem. <laughs> that was after Cameron wore that pink shit. Y'all uh, started getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was what this up, girl. Dick? It was this girl. She was like, "What you're describing." And then one day, that she was talking like that, and me and her were hanging out. She was like trying to be a rapper and shit, and I was trying to be a rapper at the same time. And um, I just asked her, I was like, "Yo, are you a lesbian?" And yo, she got so mad at me, bro, because yeah, she couldn't deal with it. She didn't have the security. She, that no, she was. At she, the I like. Time. I like how she got mad at you for not having an answer. Yeah, because uh, she probably is sure. a lesbian now. Nah, she don't know. But you triggered it in her. I, tr- I was like, "Yo, are you, you a lesbian?" Like, Honestly, you know what's crazy? Because she started talking about guys in a way. Like, you know guys talk to you. You know what's crazy? She could just have been transgender. Like, she wanted to be nah, a dude, but nah. wanted to still fuck dudes. What? Oh, you saying? Okay, I see what you're saying. So she's like, you're like, are, you're, so you're like, are you gay? She's like, motherfucker, I want to be a different gender. And then fuck the other gender. Yeah, she didn't know how to express. She probably didn't know what was good. And she's probably and she just a tomboy express. who just didn't start, you know. I mean, but you, Again, my dick was sucked. Tomboys tom- 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 in New York? Boy. What? Yeah, they go hard. They love they extra. I told I told that story before I go. The first uh, time I got a blowjob was um by a tomboy. Really? What? Yeah. It was, she was like she was wearing like big jeans and a big tee? No, nah, it wasn't like that in Florida. They wore like and he they wore like, like bas- they wore like basketball shorts under their under their jeans. Mm, I, I did shit like that in yeah. high school. Yeah, see. That's some guy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, niggas will wear like <coughs> the same shorts for like three, four yo, days. Yo, D- yo, DC's DC's black and her homophobic is coming out. 
I'm oh, allergic. blasphemous. I'm allergic to this. No, 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 no. All right, this, this is what conversation 30... giving me AIDS right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you on that. All right, let's get, let's get into our plugs. Guys, I'm the totally not gay one. Like I said before, Dylan J. Negri. Thank you guys so much for following the podcast. Go follow me at Dylan J. Negri on all platforms. Comedian Dylan J. Negri on Facebook. Almost at 5,000 followers. God damn. I got Dang. two, 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 one milli videos. Um, it, it, it's amazing. Guys are doing great. Go follow everyone here. Um, go follow Dope Dope Comedy. Follow Dope Dope Comedy on all things. Also, another, uh, uh, our, our TikTok. Go to our fucking TikTok, you oh, fucking sure. clowns. Go support our TikTok. We go. gained a lot of followers this week. We did. And it's we been did. great, guys. Almost at 5,000 on Instagram. Thank over. you so much. Bro, our Instagram caught up to our following on, on, on YouTube. So you know what that means. Our YouTube following got to go up. So YouTube, if you're listening, you're watching, you better be subscribing, motherfucker. So guys, please be here. Subscribe, like, comment. And at the, end of, at the end of every episode, we talk about our favorite comments from the past week. So make sure you leave a comment, you motherfuckers. Kevin? Kevin Sanchez Ballard. Oh yeah, you changed your fuck. I gotta still do that. This ain't bro. it, but that's him. Just go back to eating Wild Kevin Sanchez. It's nah, Kevin bro. Sanchez. Why do you do this? You're nah, mad and furious. Wild Kevin Sanchez ENT. All right, bro. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Yeah, okay. DC Williams. DC Williams comedy. Talking to the Never mic. Never changing baby. it. Never changing it. Um, doped up. Follow that, like that, share that, subscribe that. All right, All right let's no, go. No, listen. <laughs> someone, someone get DC and Adderall and some, some, no, some cocaine. I was still catching me at Eastville no Comedy Shop at DC on Comedy. the 30th. Um, keep liking, supporting. Um, we're back at the stand June 15th. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Tickets on um, sale now at the stand. Tickets on sale now at the stand. Also, link in my bio. Link in his bio. Link in his bio. Link in that's bio. Big link speakers. Link in David and Clash's ticket, bio. Kevin will even link in your butthole. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. (laughs) Whoa. Okay. (laughs) I ain't Um, leaving nothing but my foot in your ass. But before we get out of here, there's only only one more person to plug, and that's... Natalie, tell them where to find you. Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram. Watch Gas Digital now on YouTube. Since we hit a million views, Dylan's going to be on my show, where we're going to watch him walk off of the Real Ass Podcast. You can thank me for that. Yeah, but I also... uh, You can. Uh, Thanks a lot. (laughs) Thanks a lot, DC. (laughs) Uh, no, I, I said this though. If the video hits two million, I don't have to go on the podcast. It's hitting two million. That's not what you it's said. At 1.7 I, that's now. what I think it should Let's be. That's not what you today. said at all. What, what did I say? You said me and Blind Mike would be on the show. Yeah, but then I saw you guys fighting. That was awkward. We fight every day. That's what I know, makes our show fight. good. That is part of the show. That's right. part of the go. chemistry of our show. We're at 1.5, Nat. 1.7. 1.7. 1.7. Oh, excuse me. You, Yo, he's oh, better. You, you on that show. It you said, on that show. It said, it said accounts right, right, uh, right, let's, right. Get back, let's get back. And speaking of shows, let's get back, back into ours. Wait, should David plug? Da- oh, yeah. Young David Clash, our new co-producer. How the fuck we doing? How you feeling, e- David? Good, good. Yeah, I, I heard you have... Do you, you brought topics in on your, on your first official day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah we're gonna, a couple. Let's get into some Young David topics after let's this. But right go. now... One, don't tell people where to find your young ass. Uh, you can find me at David Clash Forty Seven. Not on that purpose. Your young so ass. Uh, how do you call it? You can find me on uh, Instagram at David Clash Forty Seven. That's Clash with a K. Uh, also, new podcast procrastination coming soon with my friend Ada Detsky. Let's go. And that's perfect timing on the beat, guys. Um, so, do we, David? What, what, what did you? What do you want to show us? I, I, I don't know what these topics are. So we're going to see. All right. First off, Talk to me, David. John Morant got a freaking a wellness check after uh, Instagram, sus Instagram posts. Oh, is he going sad boy hours? Yeah. I don't know where he was just like, love your ma. You the greatest baby girl. Just random ass posts just saying farewell to everybody. Mm-hmm. But it turns out he's fine now. You know, yeah. it's like this dude can't even control a chat GPT for a normal message. Here so too. basically what people don't realize is when you get in trouble in your job, whatever the job is, John Morant, and you need... <laughs> You need to gain some grace, catch some mental illness. Yeah. <laughs> catch a mental illness. No, Everyone I mean, will give you a break. I, I, I don't even think he was trying to do that shit. It was just him. I think I day. think homie was embarrassed. I think he's embarrassed. He's like, yo, I'm fucking up the bag big time. Yeah. Right? And I disrespected my mom. I disrespected yeah. my pops. And how- it wasn't like a like he said t- he didn't say he didn't call the cops on himself. He said he mm-hmm. was quitting Instagram. That's why he made those yeah. posts. Mm-hmm. So what do you Mm-hmm. What are you mad about? Yeah, what are you mad get about? Get the bag back. <laughs> That's what it's. Hey, you need to get the bag back. <laughs> so go on the internet, 
Express yourself. Tell them you're taking a break. Taking a break from Instagram means that people around me was like, nigga, you need to get off Instagram. That's a problem with like people nowadays is there's times we're genuine and then mm-hmm. there's times we use that genuineism, like if that's a word. We use that like uh, kindness of others to like take advantage. So it's interesting to see where you go like Oh, he's using this as like a, a crutch. By the way, it's not about he very well could be. It's not about using it as a crutch. It's about like you a couple months the same shit happened with the gun shit, whatever. Right? But if if you like apologies one thing, but to do the whole I need a break from shit, now you get a chance to come back a new person or whatever Bro, it is. Which he, is which is a good thing to do. Haven't you heard seen the memes? He's not actually from the hood. He's really a white girl at heart. Let him have his white girl moment. I don't know about that, but white girl moments can help everybody that's everyone that's everyone bars. should be allowed a white girl moment in life one or two and you collect more depending on what you do in life as you go through life you get to collect more white of it. girls teach you how to fucking how to how to, how to, how to like, take advantage of systems like yeah. like lebron has the mo- can have he probably has 800 white girl moments that he could use at any time lebron yeah cuz you can't fuck his career can't be fucked up don't so say that. Don't, he could, don't, don't even say that word. Dude, this guy. Don't, if, even, if don't he, even say that. I'm just bro. saying. Let's just say he was on yeah, camera, oh fucking uh, fisting a pigeon or something. Like you know what I mean? They'd let it go. They he just be like, y'all was going through a lot. That's I some was Black outside Mirror and, shit. That's like the first episode of Black Mirror where he fucks a pig, fisting a pigeon. Yeah, fist a pigeon. Yeah. Sorry. That's it. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> but LeBron's massive ass hand. Just imagine him fisting a pigeon. Black That's Man? awful. I never seen. I've episode. seen Black Panther. He fucked a pig <laughs> Black, in Black Panther. Black, Black, Mirror, Black, Black, Black Mirror. Mirror. Black Mirror. I've seen Black Mirror where you had to fuck the pig. <laughs> I will say, say Chadwick Boseman probably did it. Or let's just say he was on camera slapping a cat. People don't like that. LeBron, you can't slap a cat. You're LeBron. You Wait, love cats. But Hasbula. That's what, yeah, happened to Hasbula. That's what has I was Bula. gonna say. Exactly. Though. He slapped right. a cat. He did. You didn't see this. Oh, Are you just saying shit that's topical and all? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know Hasbulla slapped the cat. No, bro. He filmed. He filmed himself like slapping a cat, and, like pulling its ears. And then I will say, I was kind of behind him being a bad person about it. And then he released a video where he was just like in Russian. He was like, "You guys, like he's speaking his language, yeah. but he's like, you guys. I hope you guys are happy. You guys won. I, I gave up my cat." It, the cat's sense. gone now. My He's like, bi- I had to reprimand her. Yeah. He's being bad. He's being bad. I will say. I apologize to stupid bitch cat. <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass stupid Wait, cat. Wait, David, you're Russian. Every time you hear Hasbula talk, do you understand what the fuck he's saying? That's... Every single thing. Does he sound like a little bitch? He does sound. No, he just sounds like a little kid talking the entire time. But sometimes he just jabbers. You know, it's like he, it's like a little kid talking gibberish. He the doesn't curse time. though, right? Nah, he's mad religious with it. <sighs> you notice how he, ne- he's never t- he never takes photos with women? Go Muslim. Muslim, yeah. yeah. Good for him. What's the other topic you got? That's just haram. David. Oh, is this, oh, this is the cat video. Yeah, big haram. Let me see. Yeah. That's yeah. Pussy bad. No <laughs> pussy. <laughs> uh, see, that was when he went too he, far. Yeah, he, watch. he punched it with watch. the Rolex. <laughs> By the way, I don't like that he did that. What a weird flex that he did. He like punched the cat, but it looks fake, so he could be like. Yo, back kitty, look at the buy Rolex, buy Rolex. Back kitty, buy yeah. Rolex, buy Rolex. Yo, you know what's interesting? Most of his fans are like UFC fans. And Weirdly. I feel like those are the type of motherfuckers that would do exactly that to It's a not cat. that his fans are UFC fans. I think most of his fans are Russian Muslim people from that area who don't give a fuck about animals. Yeah, so like why why, why do you feel like he had to give away his cat? Because the, the online backlash. Cause yeah, online backlash. You, Conor McGregor probably loves animals. He's probably the guy that'll put it. Come here, me cat. You know what I mean? And all this shit. But like, come here, me cat. Yeah, come here. Come here, me I, cat. I, I I fucking love you. Come here, I put my cat in me car. David, what's <laughs> a, what's the other topic you got for us? Uh, pretty much Kanye can never trust women in his life, bro. His new wife is already being mad flirtatious. Already. Oh, I saw this, David. No, you're doing. You're, David, you're doing great. I think everyone's exaggerating on that video. All right, what's the video? Let me see. I think Let's David. David showed bro? this to us, bro. This pissed me off. Start from the, you got to start from the right, from the top. <laughs> Audio would be great. Thanks, you. My name is New. Nice, nice to meet you. you. You from LA? Yes. Pause, okay. pause, 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 pause. Shit, pause. Should have never answered that question. You from LA? Bitch, you, you, uh, if you're my girl, you don't answer that. You, you, if someone comes up to you, he goes, hey, he's saying, come up to her. Hey, you mad pretty. Where you from? You don't need to answer that. Should, should, first mistake. Go. Mm-hmm. Chicago. Nice. She's asking follow-up questions. 
She's asking follow up Yo, questions. She said, "Where are you from? I know where I'm from. Where are you from? How far are we from each when other?" When was this recorded? She's American. She's not when, American. When was this recorded, though? Was a few weeks before? ago. Also, someone pointed out that she looks like Pete Davidson, and I can't unsee it. Somebody did the fucking yeah the mashup. Let's see it. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that yo, fucking yo, laugh. Yeah, yeah. Nah, pause it again. That laugh, bro. D Ke Kevin, talk. Ask me a question. Um, you like Florida? <laughs> She leaned into it. Yo, bro, closer homie to got you. the Riz, bro. I can't. I, yeah, but how do you have Riz? Like, if I came up to you, what, what I don't understand about online content sometimes is it doesn't make sense where the phone is. Because also, wait. I'm technically flirting. So he has a good angle, her. So he's like, he's, he's like this close, there. bro. So he's like, so baby, where like where are you from? Oh, look at him phone on the camera. From? Look at like, that. That's the yeah, bro. Like, why? Like, <laughs> like, like, like I don't understand. Like, so like, she's like here. So he. So I guess what I'm saying. So like, <laughs> Kev looks like he doesn't want to be filmed. Like, so badly. <laughs> like, yo, baby, where, where you where you from? You not nice with it. Yo, like, bro, I'm just eating my food, fake? bro. Like, how do people keep like who's that, holding the? How that, are people holding? David their phone, said it bro? might be a hat with a camera in it. It might be a hat with a camera in it. David said. That's yeah. mad suspect, bro. I think she's just laughing because he's holding a camera in, in her yeah. face. Nah, yeah. bro. She's yeah. one of them at work. Playing. And she's famous. No, no, no. By the way, there's more. I don't think she knows. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> you? Watch this. Uh, pause, pause. Is... Stop, stop. Wait, what? She just silenced a call. No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're my girl and you silence a call for someone hitting on you, that, bro, what if Kanye finds out the time he's like, bitch, but why what, if, she, if my girlfriend didn't answer my call for like the last month, I would have been like, bitch, when you at Target, get hit on. Is she going to have a conversation on camera, on the phone? Yeah, this, don't, no. this feels sus. No. No, 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 what you do? You go, hey, thanks. I appreciate you. I got a man. I This is more important than random dude hitting on me. Wh whoever has your phone number. Is more important than random dude hitting on you unless you're interested. Play unless the tape. You like the attention. Yeah, I get your number. <laughs> By the way, pause. <laughs> Kevin, I know I know you fuck married he bitches. Creepy. <laughs> when she goes, I'm married. <laughs> My brain goes, still an avenue. I know you heard that. Play it again. Play that last <laughs> little part again. That Kev? You? Pretend you're him. Uh, Pretend you're him. Same, Red pill dill. Same, same, same. <laughs> yeah, I get your number. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Kev. Why Kev. not with you right now? Yeah. Where he at? Keep playing it. Damn. What's his name? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> thanks, 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 hon. We're doing the comedy today. <laughs> wow. I don't. That was a. That was. I feel like I wasted time watching that. What? Word? Why? Because yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's just who she is, dude. You would be okay with your girlfriend doing that? If that's who my girl was, I'd be like, yeah. That's the bro, kind of I sometimes go to brush my teeth and get a little annoyed that my girlfriend's talking to Kevin. And that's Kevin. Mad. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Double standard, I dude. I bet you talk like to chicks like this all the time. Oh. There's no fucking way you don't. What is timestamp? Natalie, edit that out. 46. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> edit that the fuck out. Hey, you could have edited. Hell yeah. hey, you could have responded way better than that. But the I fact that you she freaked just seemed out. fascinated by the fact that she was being filmed. <laughs> I, listen, I. Oh, that's I, right. Listen, this is newfound fame. That's what I'm saying, she's never I been talk, that I talk before. to girls because dated my West. relationship allows it. So I don't know what they have going on. DC and Kev want to weigh in on this? Um, Not about Dylan, about you guys. Oh, I mean. Yeah, if, yeah if, cop. I don't know. Like, for one, she seems like she's not American. Um, so I already know just engagement is going to be different. Teeth. Yeah, or whatever. By the way, she talks, so everything is ha ha ha. You know what I mean? It's also she's with one of the most famous people in the world. So I just think a guy filming her and asking her questions was just like she was just like trying to be nice, but you know probably you know didn't know how to go like stop Kev, filming me, Kanye get away West. from me. You know, you okay mean? with this? If I'm Kanye, no. Only yeah, because also, I'm you're Kanye, Kanye. You're, not, you're not okay with the Jews either. Yeah, but look but at who you're if dating. If it's me. Though. If it's like, let's say, it's Kevin Sanchez, Brian. You still, you okay with this video being out? Uh, it don't bother me. Really? No, it's so I'm saying, if you're, if this you're, video got under bro, how many skin. people you think hit on his ex-wife? Kim? It was nonstop. How that, many? That how many? True. If you're Kanye West and you only date, date, you're only dating bad bitches. Yo, bro, you think no one's hitting on them, bro? bro here's the thing. Here's the thing, yo. Yes, Kanye, Kanye's you the gonna, risk you Kanye, took. Kanye's gonna get what he deserves because I heard a story recently where he was making Watch the Throne, uh -huh. right? 
And You're showing people pictures of Kim? No, even crazier than that. There was a, a new producer crazier there. Crazier than that? Yeah, there was a new producer there. Mm. And the producer's doing his thing. Kanye walks in the room. He goes, yo, he walks in. And he's side by side with Kim Kardashian. And I watched her. Oh, that's 2011. Wasn't she? Like, she was married at the time to that basketball player. Mm-hmm, who and she then, wanted to leave. Who she, yeah, sure. Right? Mm-hmm. And then she leaves, and then the dude, the producer's like, yeah, bro, I was trying to make a beat, but I was failing miserably, <laughs> right? And it was just me and this African producer, and he's not doing nothing, right? And we're supposed to make a beat together, and then Kanye, Kanye walks in. Oh, okay. Kanye walks in, and he's like, yo, sit down. I'm thinking he's going to fire me, and he just listed off his goals. Yo, I'm going to be a fashion designer. I'm going to marry Kim yeah, Kardashian. Yeah, I remember I that story. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Why does he, what do you mean? So what do you mean he deserves? What I mean is like, yo, like you read what you saw, like people, like, like, if you're constantly putting that kind of energy out there. Like well, manifesting you, things? No, bro. That's what he's if, doing. Listen, he's, bro. He's fuck. manifested everything. If you fucking putting shit out there, like kind of energy where like you get to talk to other dudes' wives and bring them around the studio. That's going to come back to you. It's going to come back to no, you. No, it's not. That's, that's a Hollywood relationship where she's, he's that guy. Chris Humphreys was seeing other people too, for sure, bro. You don't know that, bro. Yeah, you don't. You don't know that he's cheating on his. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're saying, bro. <laughs> what are you, about? you don't know. You don't know that he's. I will say. You don't know DC's that he's running married. around with Kardashian behind Chris's back. DC did get you right That's there. Not you don't know. You don't know your thing. No, either. you don't know that's behind your back. They just didn't publicly reveal that they were dating yet. And Chris Humphrey is probably seeing. He's a fucking real estate agent in LA now. He's probably just dating other people, bro. How do you know so much about Chris Humphreys? I just I know, know that he sells real estate. <laughs> you know, no, why? He, he has sport. Know the show. He knows sport. He knows sport. You know sport. You know sport. Wait, think, did it, it, DC with sport. I'm just saying, bro. It's not. <laughs> it was very deep, and what you said sounded prophetic, but I don't think it's true. But and yeah. that was DC with sports. <laughs> I don't mean to derail it, shit, yo, bro. yo, yo, bro. <laughs> bro you don't sport. gotta think it's true, dog. <laughs> All right, bro, I'm just saying, bro. In the comments, you think Kanye deserves it? <laughs> <laughs> so do we? Do we have the call-in set up or no? I don't believe so. Who's okay. calling? It was uh, um, I, I think Hank Hill wants to join the episode. All right, let me let me patch him. Through. <laughs> no, not yet. He didn't call yet. No, um, I was just thinking about the guy's voice. <laughs> yeah, why would you? Why would you be thinking about his voice? Because you used to watch the cartoon as a kid. You guys remember that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. Kevin doesn't. You don't really watch that many cartoons. Nah, nah. I just got into Rick and Morty. That nigga pandemic. don't watch nothing, bro. I don't really watch anything. That shit is unbearable. It is funny though. <laughs> it's, Kevin has three type of uh, Instagram videos he sends me. It's People dunking who shouldn't look like they should be able to dunk. Like that's that. incredible. That's usually incredible. <laughs> that's, that's always incredible, good to watch. Bro. Fat people doing funny things. I love fat people, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love these fat people. <laughs> and then it's just like really serious with like a, you know those like alpha memes where it's like dum dum like the yeah. music behind it is like dum dum dum. It's always the same song like, with the same time, and it's always just like and it's like it, not even Andrew Tate. It's always like Elon, like someone from like a movie or whatever, just being like. You know how hard it is to get your dreams. You know how hard it is to capture a moment in time and become who you want to be every day. I, we want to work every day. When they work, you work harder. When they work, you work smarter. When uh-huh. they do that, you work tougher. And that's how you live your life. If you would have started the podcast this way, it would have went better. You think so? Yeah, it would have been like, you would have been hype. You know what I mean? I would have absolutely hated it. No, you would have loved toxic it, bro. He doesn't, like, he doesn't like positivity, bro. I do like positivity. I don't like toxic positivity. What's toxic? What and, do at and, work? and excessive grind, like but dudes also, that like DC's grind mom is his birthday. He doesn't like any positivity. Apparently, I like positivity. I don't like when it starts to feel like when it becomes nauseating, like and it's just talk. It's just like something people do. Like people are just selling motivation now. Yeah, yeah. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That becomes annoying to me. It's like we're done. Yeah, it gets annoying, but it's sometimes I like. You sometimes it gets you. Sometimes it gets sometimes you. Sometimes it gets you. you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. They pull the right strings, and you're like, ah. Like, God damn, I feel you. Yeah, right? yeah. Where you're just like, no, fuck you, Tony Robbins. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you're a random actor. You're a yeah. fucking caveman, dude. <laughs> random have, actor. He's a motivational speaker. Do we have it ready? Uh, two seconds to pull him through no here. I know he's This call- is he, the he, olden he, days. He is, he is, he's calling from he's, he is calling from Texas. So. Yeah, all right. We got him. It's ringing. All right, all right. Oh, Hank. Hank? <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi, Hank. Hello. Yo, is, Hank, is this the Doped Up Podcast? This is the Doped Up Podcast, buddy. You on it. Well, What's up, buddy? Well, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you a little something. I don't like the way you guys, you guys are a bunch of liberal cucks in New York. Well, we're not, I don't think we're the liberal cucks, but I do agree with you. There are liberal cucks in New York. You guys need to understand that life is about propane. 
Propane. It's about propane. What? what? That's what I tell Bobby. Professional pain. That's what I tell my, my friend Fred. Yeah. And you Fred. Fred. Uh-huh. And y- y'all, y'all need to go Who ahead. Who the fuck is this? this get off them goddamn. Yeah, Bobby, is this get you? off them goddamn headphones. Bobby, is this you playing a prank? And go uh and and go vote for Trump. Oh, uh, Hank. And let whatnot. me ask you a question. Let Wait. me ask you a question, Hank. Do you believe um, Kanye is wearing shoulder pads or those are his real shoulders? <laughs> what? I don't give a fuck about Kanye West. Kanye West is an, is an idiot. Why do you think he's an idiot? Because he's not a, a libtard. Wait, Kevin, Kevin, What's Kevin, up? this isn't. Oh, he's not. Is, wait, this isn't Hank Hill at all. He's not a libtard. I know that says this is a this is an Austin <gasps> number, is it? Tony <gasps> Hinchcliffe, is that you? <gasps> Tony Hinchcliffe, no. is this you right now? No, this is Hank, Tony Hinchcliffe. This is Hank Hill. No, that's Tony Hinchcliffe. Tony that's Hinchcliffe? Tony Hinchcliffe. Hang up the Tony. phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. All right, uh, he's gone. He's so, oh, oh, thank God. Fuck. Wow, that got DC, you lived at the perfect time. That sucked. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, it I, t- I could have told you it was going to be bad. Uh, you could. But it was kind of good, though. It was kind of good. It was kind of good. Uh, but no, listen, I mean, Tony, Tony called him the podcast. We could just, <laughs> Tony, Tony fucking hit Oh, did he really? Oh, crazy. nice, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Tony doing a prank phone call. Does he do stuff like that? No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm lost in the sauce. I, I yeah, want to know why you're saying Tony Hinchcliffe. But yeah, me too. I, it, it didn't sound like Hank Hill. It, it just me. <laughs> uh, uh, he sounded like, like a hit. By the way, by the way, I've seen, like I've, seen, I've, seen, <laughs> I've seen Natalie do a lot of things behind this glass. I've never heard her go. Natalie behind the glass just went. <laughs> I was like, have you ever seen King of the Hill? Yeah. That's why I said propane, Bobby. <laughs> there you go. Now <laughs> the it comes out. But I can't say his... propane Bro, the whole said, time. He said my friend Fred. Fred, is it who's the guy? Oh, Boomer, Boomhauer. Boom, boom, oh, Boomer, 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 fucking Boomer, dude. Boom. Guy don't deal it, dang on, goddamn this, this. We this, should this, have had him call it. Yeah, what's great? Should have done that. Goddamn, zip, zip, zip. zip. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do Boomhauer if he was a Jedi? Boomhauer <laughs> if he was. Uh, oh, goddamn it. Uh, for, I'm what, joking. Open my beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch that gay it. shit. <laughs> no. Not at all. All right, let's. Uh, I want. I want to leave on Michael Jackson. I uh, fucked my sister's daughter though. Michael Jackson. Right. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. Um, is uh, is dead? Yes, I know. Okay. Um, but before he died, it just been on. It's been unearthed by the doped up uh, production team. Okay, well, let's not put a hard stamp behind that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> do you see? Really, is our on air lawyer sometimes? <laughs> um, do you guys know Michael Jackson did blackface? Okay, I see why this is funny. Nah, you lying, bro. That's not. It real. says history photographed Michael Jackson in, in disguise so he could go on a date with Tatum O'Neal. Oh yeah, he used to do that. I don't blame him. He used him to for go that. in disguise in places all the time. Yeah. No, what's crazy is again he started as black, went to white, mm-hmm. and then did blackface. Well, Isn't it funny how not horrified she is. Yo, money could do that to women. Like they, all of a sudden they're cool not. Nah, I know what I think. I think we dudes just gotta start wearing masks on dates. What? It's just like, what I don't want people to recognize me. Word? What kind of squid game just like, life are you living? Whoa, why? And it's just like, I, 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 I can only tell you on a third date. You know what I mean? What? And it's, just, it's like a game. You got to turn it into like a mystery It's, it's, game. it's a sport? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Wait, go, just, back, go, back to, go, go back to him. <laughs> Bro, he... Yo, he looked crazy. He looked yeah, 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 like yeah. Uh, that was crazy because you know like, it's him. Bob Ross painted yeah, himself like black. Ugly, yeah, yeah. Bro, ugly Bob yeah, yeah. Ross. Yo, he does. He does look like he does look like black Bob Ross. Dude, Tatum O'Neal. Tatum, Tatum O'Neal. I don't know who this woman is. Do you think? Do you think they Chicks got date um, anybody? Yes. Oh. No, no. Do you oh. think he got uh, yelled at the movie theater for being in, in a racial in a She's racial relationship? I don't think anyone's ever yelled at Michael Jackson. That's not true. No, but his besides, father? I love you. Oh yeah, was younger. Yeah, but that's what made him great. By the way, you never said someone yelled negatively or positively. You just said someone yelled. But well, I meant negative. I'm know? just saying, do you, if you're going with 19, what he could have went to that movie theater and got yelled at like, "What you doing there with that black man?" And he's like, "This I'm is actually, the 80s. He I'm was famous." Good. And yeah. then he scratches too far. He's like, "He's black again." <laughs> oh, what do you think they would think if he scratched too far and it was like white? I just did that. Oh, but you scratched too. Oh, you I got mean, past the white, went to the black again. Yeah. I uh, fucked your joke up, but I got it. I got it. I got what you're doing. Good. Yeah. That's what I'm here for, bro. I'm here for, for fact check. DC with shit, sport. Dude. I'm, a fact checker, dude. I'm a fact checking motherfucker all day. I feel like all that's day, the one day. thing you don't do is fact check. Yeah, obviously, that, that was the joke. Yeah, but you're Jamaican, so you definitely fact check. 
Hey, yo, he just makes insanely bad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps going. Keeps trucking, bro. <laughs> You're like those comedians that bomb and don't feel anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they come off stage yeah. and like, that shit was all right. Yeah. <laughs> That shit was all right, yo. That shit was all right. That shit was all right. Bro, yeah, cried a little weird. Cried a little weird. Bro. Cried a little weird. But uh, I, I think I got him at the end yeah, there. I think I if, I hear, if I hear that's my time one more time. That's my time. <laughs> well, that's my time. <laughs> I'm going to just leave y'all with this before I get out of here. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, are you? Yeah, You're yeah. just going to do it? You're just doing it. <laughs> before Wait. I get out of here. You ever, you ever see up there killing themselves? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching these motherfuckers dying up there. But, um... But yo, nah, but I'm gonna just say this. <laughs> why you sound like Will? Why you sound like Will? Oh, is Will calling on the podcast? Why, why, they sound, why they sound like they have the red table talk? <laughs> I mean, I mean. Oh my God, I needed to hear that. I really needed to hear that. Yes. I just feel things. Are you, are you, are you Jaden? Uh, everybody I'm, should I'm, go. I'm all of them. I just feel <laughs> things. I just, I'm all of them. Yeah. I just believe everybody should go to therapy. Yeah. Yo, shout out Jada, though. Louis Vuitton shouldn't make me cut my dick off. What? What? If the earth was round, I'd probably be Who's this? straight. That's Jaden. <laughs> That's Jaden. <laughs> I was like, wait, who is? Oh, wait. I, I was, once he started going to conspiracy theories, I was like, wait, that sounds like Jaden. I we're, know this. We're all designers. We're all here to make the world a better place. I fucked Tyler Creator. It's real, I swear. I'm so goddamn rich, though. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I I do hate that I love the shit that Jaden does, I though. Because when he went to Coachella, like, it was last year or two years ago. He went on stage and just started shaving his head. You saw what Tyler said. I was like, that's fine. Tyler commented, bro, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> hey, too, hey, hey, make better music. <laughs> no, Man, true. make better music so you don't got to just shave your head off. <laughs> Keep doing you, Jaden. Keep being you, son. Keep doing you, Jaden. You know what I'm saying? Jaden Smith. You, tell, tell, when people comment, be like, you ain't Will Smith's son. You don't know what it's like to be this. Damn, you know, I would hate to say that. That's, out loud. That's that, but, but think you, about that. But even you saying time. that, I hate. Bro, it. he has the whitest version of white privilege. He has my dad's the a rich, blackest version, rich, famous, the blackest successful. version of white. Privilege. No, the whitest version. Really? The white, you think you think you have more white privilege than Jaden Smith? Mm. Mm. Do you think that? Not not, not vocally. Uh, okay, you'd probably hang out with G <laughs> Unit. <laughs> you'd probably hang out with this guy like the rich kids are insane. Yeah. I think I think, I think he would blow your mind. Yeah, bro. bro. Yeah. He would, He'd be bro. like, yo, yo. <laughs> hey Dylan, bring your mom over. It's time for me to we, introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> we get pulled over, he goes, Have you ever seen the karate kid? Of course you have. <laughs> exactly. Shit like bro. that. Of course you have. <laughs> Actually, um, put it on right now. Yeah. yeah. Put it on his Tesla. <laughs> you got your ID <laughs> Tesla. You got a phone on you? Pull up ID and B. He says ID in the cop. Exactly. <laughs> you got a phone on you? Pull oh, it yeah. up. Oh, you pulled me over? Mm. Oh, here, you want a hard copy of my album? Mm. <laughs> I will go. say that that is the funniest thing of no matter as, as humble as anyone is, when you're drunk, a little fucked up, and you get pulled over, every, like, every sports player ever always goes like... After like three minutes of like, they're like, oh wait, I might be going to jail. They're like, you know who I am? Ayo, 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 my man, my man, my man, my man. Do you, do you know who I Do you watch football? You don't see how far the seat's back? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Obviously, I'm somebody. I'm man. lounging. I'm fucking Johnny Manziel. Yeah. I played That's drunk. the name? Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's the name you went with? Because he, 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 he was doing a lot of wild shit. He was doing, he was doing a lot of wild yo, shit. Yo, bro, I wanted, I never wanted a white quarterback to be more successful than, than Johnny Manziel. Manziel. Really? When Johnny, yeah. When Johnny, Johnny Man, first of all, Johnny football is a dope ass. Did you, did you it, see, it was. It was they, did you see when he threw a touchdown in the XFL and then lit a joint no, after? XFL, wow. No, he and didn't. Look at that up. For real? Well, well, you see, know, that well, makes me want him to be no, mad successful. No, no, no. In the NFL, I'll be fired. In the XFL, no, not fired. No, no, no. It's still fire. I'm gonna Less do one more fire. topic and then we're gonna get out of here. Less fire. Yeah, why are <laughs> no. you talking like that? I was doing the comic thing before. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more joke. One more joke. One more joke. One more joke. Just while well, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll leave you guys with this. I'll leave you guys with this. Real quick. Yeah, well, all right, you guys are dragging it out of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dragging it out of me. Don't leave. Don't leave. Honestly, you said for comics, man. Yo, y'all dragging it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. If he's doing that, I hope he's being satirical, not doing it for real. Yeah. By the way, you have to do. Next time, I'm like. Doing a really bad bomb. I want to. All right, you guys really want one more? You dragging that? Out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the ball. Yeah. Dragging it Double out down, dude. We have the video by chance. What are you looking for? Johnny Menzel smoking a joint after throwing a touchdown. He's looking. We can't find it. This yeah, must look, have been, look this up must have XFL. Been a you had, look, up, <laughs> look up XFL quarterback smokes joint on. Field. Is he quarterback in F uh, XFL too? He yeah. was for a little bit. And know it's funny. He made me watch a couple games. Yeah, but you know the problem with the XFL? The field's too small. 
Mm. Feels like I'm watching like my homies play. Jason yeah, Stewart. The problem would be they don't get paid. That's who it is. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe Let me see it. Yeah, maybe I just maybe I just made believe <laughs> that it was. I'm pretty sure it was him. Oh no, just the other white dude. Play it though. It's kind of fire. Uh, oh yeah. Wow. Let's see. This nigga Dylan Matt. It's just stills. That's that. Shut up. <laughs> Damn, wait, this is the X-Men. The Zappers. Zappers. <laughs> Yo. That's a problem, bro. You can't, the Zappers. You, can't, you can't have a real X-Men, league though. with the name with names Z- like Zappers. Zappers. Also, like, you need a better creative team, dog. Like, yeah, that's retarded. Yeah. That's ridiculous. This is the, like the WNBA of football. Damn. Yeah. For <laughs> sure. Honestly, people buy more tickets to this <laughs> game. You think so? 100%. 100%. Bro. They put out actual stadiums. I've I'd rather watch Brittany Griner dunk. I've never almost bought. If I almost bought you a the WNBA temp? ticket, I was drunk trying to buy an NBA ticket. You think the WNBA can do the main room at the stand? <laughs> <laughs> Play it. <laughs> Not if you got to pay for tickets. <laughs> Oh, you pulled it out of his nuts? That's disgusting. That's that Glacier Crack? That's that Glacier Crack? Pack, pack. <laughs> Yo, did you see that half-assed gang sign? <laughs> That's like so me when I pretend to do it. He just went... <laughs> he went... Like, smoking is still cool, but it's not that cool to where, like... Because everybody does it. Yeah, and you light a joint on the field. It's yeah. like, all right. No, that's dope. I, I think that's that's stuff. In the dope, NFL, it's context. What's bro? the coolest you way of smoking? You keep saying the NFL, and like you know, no one in the NFL is going to do that. Yeah, but if no, if, it's so, if AB did that or something, no, no, no. that would be fire. <laughs> now if AB then got, you oh. if AB AB took off his jersey and his cleats and started and smoking a joint, joint fire would have been the most because you're fire in the NFL. The right. So that's lit. You're right, I would have loved to have seen that shit. That no, would have been it, lit. It would have been funny because AB would have had to pre already had that joint with him to be like that's not something when you that, do it in the, something yeah, that yeah. like no that's not something that I would pe- put past him, bro. When you no, do it in the Z League. It's like, oh yeah, nigga, that's why you didn't make it because oh. you was doing that shit. You know what I mean? Like it's oh, context. Yeah. It's like, don't make sense. You're being a comedian. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys, we said we'd leave you with that, and we. What did. are you, a professor of logic? <laughs> 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 professor of logic. Over I'm like here. that did cab driver. Was that cab driver? Remember that that uh, weird the Uber? <laughs> it's a work on love. This nigga just full of truths. Oh, that just kept. Yo, that nigga got me so mad, yeah. bro. <laughs> it's like, damn, bro. Guys, thank you so much for watching Dope Up Podcast, the Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke show, <laughs> guys. If you're not set, you're unsettled. But now you're reset and you're feeling good. We'll see you oh, next week for another great episode. The boy had to reset last week. Make, make sure to go follow us at Dope Up Comedy. We'll see you soon. Big shroom, big shroom, big shroom.